Hi, welcome to IELTS Audi. Uh, in this video, I'll do a test for you guys, a speaking test, an IELTS speaking test. So let's get to it now. I'm a typical Punjabi. I mostly like uh, the Punjabi kind of breakfast. I am a fan of a dish called parathas here. And otherwise, maybe something, again, something badly Punjabi or badly Indian would be a great breakfast for me. No, uh, currently I'm living alone, so I have to order my breakfast, but sometimes I make it also. Uh, I think a few days back only I made myself breakfast and it was not great, but I made my peace with it and it was fine. I think I made uh, a kind of macaroni dish. I turn into a zombie when I miss my breakfast. Honestly, I cannot work without having eaten something. And that is not restricted to only breakfast. I have to eat something before doing anything. And that is how my metabolisms work. I cannot be hungry and working. And also I become very irritable when I have not eaten something. Or maybe I have to, I have to be, uh, you know, filled inside so as to be civil outside. Yeah, I was a decent student. I was not a topper or something, but I used to be among top five students. And at a point I topped my classes also, but uh, otherwise, uh, if you ask me behaviorally, I was decent in that context also. You can go to any of my teachers and they'll sing praises of me. I can assure you that, but I was not uh, perhaps a top banana for sure. By profession, I'm a teacher. So I have taught very many students now. And uh, I've taught uh, people who are 28 years old. I have taught people who are 15 years old or 16 years old. So I have a, you know, big panoply of students. They have been, uh, you know, associated with me and I'm lucky. I never left my studenthood, honestly. Uh, I am still a student. I love learning things. But if you ask me in those academic terms, if I have to go to a school or maybe a college then no i think they were the worst places to learn things and uh, they mostly hindered my evolution i have learned everything on my own and i think i never needed a teacher i just needed patience a good environment and uh, maybe a lot of dedication which i have now otherwise it was always about being the teacher's pet and now i think they are dogs I've never noticed fountains uh, with so much, uh, I would say, dedication or maybe I have never, I have never focused on them uh, particularly, but they are beautiful. I think they have sometimes those lights also. So they look very colorful and that uh, uh, mechanism of uh, seeing water drops going down and yeah, it's quite scenic. I'm not sure. Maybe I think uh, when I go to Elante, which is a big mall in Chandigarh, which is my current city, I might see one. I think they have one or two outside the mall or something. Otherwise, I don't know when I'll see a fountain and I'm not very, um, you know, much into such things also. Again, I don't think I would love to have a personal fountain, but I would love to have a fountain pen. Maybe I have to write where, you know, a lot of things every now and then. So maybe I would love to have a fountain pen, but uh, a personal fountain, I don't think I, I don't, I don't know what I will do with that. So no, I don't want a personal fountain. I, uh, I would love to have a personal girlfriend. So if someone has that, please give me one. So let me just start the timer.
it happened recently only i felt like i was a ball of fire when my tkt module 1 result came out i am into taking exams and i have taken very many english proficiency exams but it was my first teaching exam that i'm able to teach english properly otherwise it was all about what i know about english so when the result came out and i got a 4 on 4 uh, which means out of 80 in the real exam i must have gotten at least 70 i was all over the uh you know not i was over the moon actually uh it was like okay i had proven my worth again and this time in a new dimension and uh, i talked about it with my students and they were also proud of me and i will continue taking teaching exams also as in there are uh, i think four other modules in tkt and i'm going to take them soon and i'll make myself empowered again but i have been empowered since then i have been motivated and encouraged and every other synonym in the you know english dictionaries i have been i have been full of the you know poetic zaza zoo and uh, i cannot i couldn't be more thankful but i am thankful to myself don't consider it in a very i would say mystical way because i am not into god and such mystical aspects i am an atheist and i like empowering others also like i am really into making my students do very many things i would want to uh, you know prepare extra assignments for them or maybe i would want them to learn certain grammatical aspects so that they are able to score highly in their writing and speaking exams because i teach english only i teach uh, english proficiency exams so if they are able to get high scores their empowerment uh, you know leads to my leads to my empowerment also perfect yes power is an inherent phenomenon and it is something that is there inside us honestly you just need to be hard enough you have to have a moment of reckoning and after that you are a volcano as is said in that very famous song uh, all that you need is a rude awakening so when you have gotten that awakening when you have gotten you know your doubts cleared you are going to be a volcano and your eruptions are going to lead to a very beautiful life you have to burn of course it is not something that uh, uh, power is a switch on switch off method it is something that first makes you very uncomfortable and then what you are is something that is not uh, you know harmed by the internal irritations or maybe something that the initial uh, maybe step you know resulted in the irritations the kinds of pains the inside uh, self was causing to you because that is what that is how it happens whenever you have whenever you have had something very painful first you are not able to bear it but uh, afterward you become so strong that you consider it okay it is an ouchie i am not uh, affected at all nonetheless i would say you have to have an external agent uh for that pain so it's 90% from inside uh then the remaining 10% is the work of something that is there in the outer world if i consider today's scenario then it is mostly because of, because the academics are herculean you are not able to uh you know do so many things at a time you have to make assignments you have to score well in your exams you have to uh, you know prove yourself in extra curricular activities also so there is a lot of uh, work to do they have so many chips on their shoulders that it becomes difficult for them to prove themselves to themselves and to others so they feel less powerful they think that it is not something we can do so we have some 
uh, maybe voids in us. So we should not be there in the world. We are we are of no use or something. Uh, that said, this is not a right option. This is not a right procedure. It is mostly because of the megalomania outside that uh, the students or the teenagers are not able to cope with uh, the internal pressures. Apart from that, I think they don't have enough money. So sometimes a rich kid does something and rich kids are in a minority. So mostly teenagers see them and they feel that, uh, okay, we don't deserve the glamour also. So we should not be here at all. So there are so many things that are making them uh, down in the dumps and I pity them. I have been through that stage and I wanted to kill myself at a point. Now I just want to kill Urfi Javed. Uh, people have not become more confident, but I think they have become audacious as in at a point first, what happens is when you are not able to do something, you kind of feel guilty. But after that, uh, as is the case with the power phenomenon here, also you kind of become so stubborn. It is not my fault. The, you know, final stage in such cases, in such cases is also that you become, um, you know, immune against such uh, pains and then you become stubborn. You become like you are fine with it. You have something and you don't have something else. So it's fine, whatever the way you are. And uh, that leads to a certain kind of uh, charade uh, outside and uh, you become audacious and uh, sometimes arrogant also. And that has been the case in India for sure. People have become full of chutzpah or maybe audacity, I would say more, because they are not able to, uh, you know, come to terms with the realities. They are not able to accept their mistakes. They are not able to uh, do something that they want to do. And they are not able to, uh, you know, accept the fact that we are not uh, maybe Avengers or we are not uh, the Hulk that we have to do everything. And uh, we are fine with our limited capacities. That is not the case. We are not able to accept such things. And that is why arrogance arrogance has become the, uh, you know, the norm of the day. Powerful people become tyrannical or maybe authoritarian when their power is in danger. This is absolutely true. Powerful people otherwise would uh, you know, project themselves to be very altruistic or maybe very kind. But as soon as they feel that their power is in jeopardy, they will try to kill the uh, threat. They will, you know, um, do anything that is there so that they're able to save their uh, higher positions. And as in, for example, we have seen very many uh, shows uh, you know, web series and all, for instance, I think uh, Mirzapur. So that protagonist is very calm and very cool. And he would uh, want to help the police officers or maybe other people in the village. But as soon as, or maybe when his power is threatened, he becomes a troll. He would uh, kill everyone that comes in his way, that comes in the way of, uh, you know, his getting to his uh, throne again. So they become such people when they are not able to preserve their power. And uh, apart from that, apart from that, others are as old by nature. I think nothing can be done about it. We become fans by choice. We, you know, put people on pedestals by choice. And when they have gotten on those pedestals, they are not uh, going to let go of that uh, prestige that they have been bestowed on. Uh, they would want to keep it. They would want to, uh, you know, become the creme de la creme. And uh, when people are bored of them, when people do not want them to be the supreme people in a, you know, at a point in time, they will try to uh, preserve their power and then they might uh, you know uh, go against their fans only they would say 
we have gotten this we are not going to leave this and that is seen with our politicians we choose them then they then they exploit us even though we want to you know uh, have other politicians at a time when we have selected them when we have uh, you know given them the power either they are going to stay for the tenure or they are going to do some you know some things or they are going to uh, put in practice some acts that are going to harm us or maybe going to maybe are going to force us to to select them again so that is a very i would say common case in india and i don't know what happens otherwise but uh, tyranny is prevalent here mostly men because uh, women you know by nature are very sweet and they try to uh, help others they would uh, want to see beauty everywhere so because of the motherly instinct maybe they give birth to children and uh, they have this uh, tendency to keep everything you know cocooned because they are like that it's their nature so they are the ones who are less likely to misuse their uh, power men on the other hand are born in a way that uh, they want to be the king they want to be the aggressive ones they want to be the um, rulers so that that instinct that uh, uh, germ of being the supreme power makes them you know use their uh, maybe rights or use their uh, power in a wrong way also so that the prestige is you know kept intact apart from that i think women are uh, you know not given that opportunity also even if a woman is you know a queen or maybe a ceo there are going to be male subordinates who are going to consider her, consider her you know not strong enough so maybe her power is going to be uh sub her her power is going to be suppressed or maybe she is going to be subjugated at a point so she is not able to exercise her power properly and that will lead to maybe very less misuse of uh, uh power or maybe authority men i think they have their harems they have been having their harems so if they are able to uh you know kill men what Uh, will the female subordinates do if the men have come to their uh, you know true forms if they have shown their true colors they might even uh, not spare children so men are the i would say uh, bad people i would say okay i am ashamed of myself right now fine i hope you liked this video give it a like if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel thank you